Oh! Well, if it isn't Jean Antoine Rocher de Ferrero, as I live and breathe. Michel de Omelette Croque Monsieur. Shall we have this dance? Bonsoir, Monsieur Baguette. Pretty sure it's illegal, but oui, oui. I already went. Very well. <laughs> seen Madame de Chille Bouffe in my gown? Mm, I am a delicate crumpet. Way! Surely a frock fit for the king's attention. I prefer something a little more refined. I trust you saw Monsieur Fromage Cruella de Vil in the throne room? Oh, uh, hello! Yes, I did get a new frock for the ball! What? Mine? Hmm. How are you enjoying the music? Provided by moi. Oh! Well, that big f**k off statue in the hall? No. Yes. Merde. I had some coin left over from my morning baguette, you big Nassau salad. Did you like the food? I did that. The staff serving it? Me? Well, I bought them a chandelier. Well, I'm buying them a bigger one. You're a sword. You're a hat. Oh. Monsieurs, Monsieurs, hello. I trust you'll both be present at the fireworks display later on. Sacre bleu! I'm very excited for the whole affair. Mm -hmm. Rococo, a word synonymous with grandeur and opulence. Can you be the kind of tailor that stitches together a piece that may stop King Louis's heart and render you king of the ball? In a field dominated with games of war and overt masculinity, finally, Eagle Griffon have given us a game with real balls. And if that's not enough bloodshed, most of these are gonna start getting beheaded in 30 years anyway. Hello! We are a couple of game lords and today we are drinking a French Martini, mon ami! Oh, mon ami, indeed, D. Oh, 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 oh my god, this is. Uh, what is happening here? We got vodka, we got pineapple juice, we got the Chambord. Oh, f. Yeah. You hate it? I don't. What is. Why is it so sweet? Why is. What are the French put the, in this? It's the pineapple juice in the Chambord. I hate that. You hate this? Yes. I don't mind it. I'm getting a real kick in the pants from the vodka. Is there a mark, baby? I love it. Can I take four hot minutes? and make one without pineapple juice and see what I think. So it's going to be vodka and Chambord. Yes. Do it. I'll be right back. I guess I'll just keep you company. You know, <sighs> of the French I am party. back. Yeah, you're gonna de demolish yourself. Now that's good. Really? Yeah, so this is just, just vodka hate. and Chambon and the Chambon gives Chambord. you- Chambord. Yeah. I'm bored. Shambles. The French already, we haven't even started. You like that? Basically just flavoured mint right. vodka. Yeah, I'm gonna hate this because I fucking hate vodka. Yeah, it's fucking abhorrent. <laughs> I'd rather die than drink that. <clears throat> Bloody hell. Why can't we just review games? Rococo Deluxe, an area control game for two to five players. It takes about one to two hours. It's easy to learn, but difficult to master. Rococo, bit of a classic, had a ball with it. Maz, would you recommend this to people? <laughs> had a ball. Oh, wow! Had a ball. Oh. Did that without thinking. King Louis is hosting a ball, and you're, a, you're the owner of a tailor's business, yeah. and you're just hiring all your little people to go off and do all your bidding for you, so you can whack your brand all over his ball, so mm -hmm. that he reckons you're a bit hot sh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Relatable. That's how you win. Yeah. So much fun. So it's yeah. such a beautiful game. It's such a delight to play. Really easy to pick up. Mm -hmm. Really easy to teach someone else. Yeah. And then the more you know the game, your, your bloody difficulty just exponentially rises. 100%. It's great. It's a delight. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Let's break it down. What did we like? Yeah. It is beautifully balanced. If you're looking at like a Euro game with area control, worker placement, where you're just trying to deal with your zone, oh. 
trying to weigh risk versus reward. What's my strategy? How am I going to get the most points? Oh. It's beautifully balanced. Oh, mate, if, you, if you're into that, oh. every turn is a bloody puzzle waiting to be unlocked. Yeah. Yeah, it's wicked. Someone could like covertly win a game of... You might not even know till the end and then you count up the points and you're like, oh, you did that the whole time. That's you one sneaky of the sneaky one of the bloody things I love about it mm. is you're tallying your points to Kaido style mm -hmm. right at the end of the game. So you are doing your thing and you can kind of spot what's going on, but until you start tallying those points at the very end of the game, the suspense at the end, even if you think you've absolutely f***ed it, mm -hmm. and you're like, oh, ooh, yeah. watching yourself race up the board, catching the trail of those people who have blazed forward from the beginning of the game. Three, four people will be sitting around the table counting excitedly. Mm. Four, five, six, seven. It's ridiculous. It's great. We've actually bounced around quite a bit there because there's so much in this enormous box to laugh. It's f***ing enormous. So let's Missy Elliot this shit and down... Town flipping reverse it. Sit down now, by the flipper dumb dip. We're gonna be. <laughs> let me work it. And we're gonna work this big. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, a big, <laughs> it's a big brute that you gotta work. It's a big brute worth working. When you open the box first oh, off, right. there are so many punchies. Yeah. There's so many things to just delight in, just sort of the big smell of a new box. This is the one for that. It's yeah. like, look at all the beautiful skirts you can punch out, all skirts. the wonderful materials mm -hmm. and the things that you're popping out. And you're putting it in that big, that's the sacks that they give you, the beautiful the fabric sacks. That fabric. You... <laughs> I love a big, I love a beautiful <laughs> fabric sack. Who doesn't want to cradle a fabric sack? Mm. They're a little bit velourey. Yeah, they are a bit velourey. But anyway, we won't say that. We won't say that we did, but we won't. <laughs> That's great. And then as well as that, the art is great. Yeah, the art's beautiful. So once you've got it all set up, besides it being, where am I going to eat breakfast ever again? Mm. The game. Um, it's astonishing to look at. Yeah. Beautiful palace. There's King Louis, tiny little man in his giant palace. Mm -hmm. All of his ballrooms ready to go. Mm -hmm. Like... What kind of party has five rooms for people to frolic around in? And the roof, get up on the roof. Get, on the, the get up on the roof and get time. ready for the bloody Sky Show. <laughs> Sky Show 97 brought to you by SAFM. <laughs> Sky Show. <laughs> it's so embarrassing. Google Sky Show Adelaide. SAFM Coca-Cola Sky Show 10. Anyway. <laughs> I miss, bring back Sky Show. Clips was gone, bring back the Sky bring Show. Bring back Sky Show. Artwork by Ian O'Toole. He's a bloody good painter, isn't oh he? Oh my god. It's beautiful, it's cohesive, and it's very visually uh, easy to follow. They sort of create a, la a language with the symbols. The player aids, are every they're everywhere. Yeah. They're all over your little player disc, they're all over the board, they're all over the cards, and yeah, at a glance, you'd be like, that means this. Yeah. And even when you see a new one, you're like, well, that clearly must mean this. Yeah, you can at least surmise that's got to mean this. And considering there's so many moving parts, it's really important. And they did it. They yeah. knocked it out of the park with that mm. one. So the game splits into seven rounds. So you could be sending a useless apprentice to nip to the shops and uh, get you some hot new fabric and, yep. a, uh, and a coffee. Perhaps. Yeah. Useless Sebastian! Fetch me some fabric. Hop on over to the musicians and give them a bit of coin and whack our logo on their f***ing cello, won't you? And useless Sebastian. You're doing that? Yeah. Or are you getting old mate Teddy Roosevelt? <laughs> we have named all of the characters <laughs> on the cards and a lot of this won't track. And I guarantee you, if you buy this, you won't be able to tell who we're talking about. <laughs> Who's DJ the, Shadow. DJ Shadow on your it's end? DJ not Shadow. even. It's not even. Ben Franklin's You've mate. You've got all the, all the founding fathers. Ben Franklin's mate's place. there. He's clearly making a kite. You can yeah, see it. You can, can see he's it. whipping up a kite. You know yeah. what I'm talking about. I mean, what was my point there? You can send them off to buy some designs and stitch you up a bloody good thing. Mm -hmm. Then you can bloody hire that to some d who's going <laughs> to... Oh, oh, around the ball. Or yeah. you could just sell it for hot coins. Get that coin. Or you could be hiring a new wizard to replace, finally replace, yeah. useless sexy Sebastian. Sexy Sebastian, get out, out of here. here. Give us five bucks and you're f off. Yeah, you're, you're fired. <laughs> but there's enough there to do that makes it like, yeah. the stress is real. As you increase the player count, any plan you make is going to get f 
fucking torpedoed. Mm. Like if you are trying to get on top of things and you're like, oh, we're going to put a bit of a strategy to blah, blah, blah. Someone is going to buy the dress you've got an eye on. Someone is going to put something in the room that you wanted to be mm-hmm. in. Someone is going to absolutely fuck your plans 10 ways from Sunday. Yeah. And then it's going to get to your turn and you are just going to have to think on your feet and be like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to have to wing it. I, just have a, I have a quick question. Can you just put your hands up like this? Can you just show that tattoo? Are you a Death Eater? I am a Death Eater. Okay, good. That's all we needed to know. A former, acquitted. I'm a reformed Death Eater. Okay, great. Just a Death Nibbler. I don't. <laughs> bit of Death Eater. Just gonna snack on a bit of Death Eater here and there. I'm not gonna eat the whole thing. I'm gonna go nuts. Like he who shan't be named. I'm not gonna go crazy. You good know, if there's Christ. a crux, I'll protect it, but not crazy. I'm not gonna go seek him out. <laughs> Bloody hip. <laughs> Okay, so each of the outfits you make, which is the point of the game, make outfits, put them in the Vardy rooms. Yeah. So people can look at them and be like, yes, I like that. Nice dress. Have a bit of prestige. The real fun comes in with all the bonus garbage that you're getting for having multipliers and having the most dresses in a room and all of this stuff is like, that's where the real game is. Yeah. Making dresses is great. But making the right dresses at the right time and putting in the right spots yeah. is a thing. And also, oh. oh my god. Yeah. And there are things that on first playthrough, I was like, what a, what a useless thing. Why would I spend money on yep. that? Now I'd be like, that's essential. You gotta get that first go, yeah. get it out the gate. It, there, I there love are some- that. <sighs> my god. My god, the race is on in every bloody lane. It really is. <laughs> Well, the content is just a nice departure as well. I love I'll that. tell you how I bought this game. It was a, it was enormous. Yes. <laughs> it had a it had a wicked price tag on it, which made me absolutely go, "What the fuck are you on about?" Yeah. So I turned it over, and I'm like, I'm "Making dresses? The game? What do you mean?" <laughs> and that was enough for yeah. me to drop hot coin on it. Mm. It's, a, it's, a, it's refreshing to have a game that isn't just kill everyone or stop the thing killing everyone mm-hmm. kind of game. It's just a nice like, oh, we're just, we're just gonna do some dresses. It's just this sort of nice, gentle, elegant, we're just making yeah. dresses, we're just going to a ball, maybe you want to get a musician, there's a bit of a statue there, chill out. I like <laughs> that. It also has um, some expansions, one of which is the jewelry box expansion. Mm-hmm. And we're only talking about this because it bloody well comes with the deluxe edition. Yeah. Given the choice, I wouldn't f***ing buy it. No way. It adds two things. Mm. Jewellery. Love it. And that makes perfect sense, given the name of the f***ing thing. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be weird. <laughs> Jewellery box, you'd just chuck a bunch of horses in there. What the f***s up with that? When you make a dress, you can also purchase a bit of jewellery to go with it. Net yep. yourself a bit more coin later on in the rounds, and also net yourself more prestige at the end of the game. So it's a nice little bonus mm-hmm. thing. But also it has this other whole other feature about upgrading your boys yeah, you and girls. Boys. When they're a bit useless, your apprentices can go through this school system. Mm. It does add a fun element of more things to consider. If, you, if you're playing Rococo and you're like, nailed it, I'm ready for any kind of game situation <laughs> with any kind of dickhead that I'm playing with, <laughs> throw in the jewellery box is going to add that extra layer of like, another bloody thing to keep an eyeball on, which yeah. is kind of cool. Yeah. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. What do we not like about Rico? <sighs> I can't get beyond the price of the box. I feel like the price is incredibly high because they've gone, it's got everything in it, but not necessarily everything in it is worth being in it for one, there are no. three expansions in this box. The jewelry box, yes, add that for sure. Make it deluxe. Definitive edition.com. Mm. Sure. Into that. Yeah. But they're the other two mother <laughs> fancy dresses, biggity bombs, and <laughs> shabbat bups, whatever the other ones are, which just add more. <laughs> like, look at this horse. What have we got? Yeah, we've got fancy dresses. Jewelry box expansion. Great. Love that. Fancy dresses expansion. Adds four fucking dresses and five more bits of material. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. And and they're called fancy dresses because they are the only dresses that are worth five prestige. Okay, great. We've whacked sure. them in the box, that's fine. I think it's overly generous to call that an expansion. Next one is festivity dresses, which is the most fucking offensive expansion I've ever seen in my life. Here we go. It adds another four dresses to the box. Great. It gives you 40 fucking tokens yeah. 
of which you can pick four. So it gives you ten nationalities yeah, of the exact same four fucking dresses. And it's just a waste of time, money and cardboard. It's needlessly excessive. Not only that, they don't even give you a fucking place to put them. <laughs> they give you a place for the four you choose and then they expect you to, I assume, to put the other fucking 36 in the bin. <laughs> <laughs> really? I don't understand the functionality of it. I don't get the point of doing that beyond just jacking the price up. To me, it just seems so blatant. That and also, it's fucking Rococo. Mm. It's a French era situation yeah. that happened in France yeah. exclusively. And they've given you fucking four skirts from China and the UK and Germany mm. and Japan. And it's like, no. Just give me the French ones and also just put them in the box for free because it's four bits of cardboard. That's the other thing is like if you want to work in dress designs from around the world, uh -huh. sure, just all the dresses in base Rococo look identical. Yeah. You may as well just put them in as new designs and be like, okay, normally this is just a standard green dress, but also it's a green dress from China now and it's in the base box. But you haven't done that. It's a waste of cardboard. It's a waste of space. And I like the idea of adding varied designs, but you've... You Not know, for fucking 256 Australian dollars. I don't... That's ridiculous. And also just implement them in the base game. Very angry about that. It's really hard to look at anything involving this game that isn't... Not through that lens of like the prohibitively expensive price and the, the absolute useless shit that that price goes towards. And their massive... Uh, opportunists as well because you can't get Rococo. Yeah, that's so you can't get a new Rococo that isn't the deluxe edition, which is just like you're just being rude now. It's preposterous. <laughs> fucking a day's fucking wage. It's like a week's rent. Fuck you. It's insane. It's more than a day's oh, wage. It's way more than a day's wage. It's prohibitive. You are making it so no one can buy the base game. Oh. You've put this out so it's like, you can't just drop 90 bucks on vanilla Rococo, which is perfect, by the way. Yeah, I'd pay 120 for vanilla Rococo. Yeah. Sick. Literally every expansion is just like four more skirts. Jewelry box is the only one that significantly changes the gameplay. Yep. that's great. And the rest is just more shit you pop out and throw in a bag. I mean, it added the single player, um, Madame de Beau, Madame de Madame Beau. Madame de Bumfuck. Anyway, Muggsy Bogue. So you can play against an AI um, character if you have zero friends in your life. But hey, we're not about that. So It's uh, certainly not something that warrants... I wouldn't pay for it. No, I wouldn't call it an expansion. I wouldn't be like, I love Rococo so much, I wish I could play it on my days off when I don't have any friends over. I as don't, well. I don't understand Nate, it. do you want to come play Rococo? No? Oh, that's alright, I'll just play against <laughs> Madame de Bumfuck. <laughs> It shouldn't be played alone. It's not a better experience. Yeah. The only other thing I don't like about this game is I think the dress art isn't interesting. You buy your dress and you make it and you flip it over and I was waiting for nice reveals. Big reveals. And I'm like, whoa! And then I realise very quickly there's, there's just four types and that's it. You're right, it's about a reveal. If you're going to drop a bunch of material... Look at my girl! Two pieces of lace and you're getting a five prestige dress... Yeah. Have oh, a look sit. a bit fucking stunning. So oh, then when it's sit. on the board, you're next to the... When you're next to someone who's got a two prestige uh. dress, you're like, look at your piece of shit. Look at your Cinderella. Get the fuck out. Just looks like a fucking mole. What are you doing? Yeah, exactly. But you can't do that. They all look the same. And it's very... That adds... That's what I mean. It just frustrates me even more that they've gone to all the trouble of designing more dresses just so they can charge more money and then you can have them sit in the fucking box and do nothing. It's f Is there anything else you didn't like? It's really hard to look past that. It's it's really so hard no, to... is the answer. <laughs> no, no, I guess not. No. So in summary, I think the game has a fucking wicked pace. It never outstays its welcome. Even not winning is still a joy to play, and it's a joy to come third. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's great. Yeah, it's an absolutely stunning game. It it's beautifully made really well thought out, strategically crafted to the nth degree. You're managing so many things and they're all balanced beautifully. Mm. But... But, are you gonna stamp it? I don't know. I'm I, stamping I, it. Okay. I can't not. Um, the price is up there, but I think if you like the game, you aren't gonna give a shit. Um, I don't think you will. The things that 
deter you, you're not going to play with anyway. You know what I mean? You'll yeah. play the jewellery box and you'll love that. You'll add the special dresses and you'll love that. And you'll pick four of your favourite um, international design dresses and then you'll put the rest in the bin and you'll forget that that cost you money. And you'll love the game. That's what I think. I think I'm going to have to stamp it. Yeah. Solely because it's crafted so well. And I think about the developers of this game and how well they've made it. And it would be... <laughs> there it is! It's, cool. an appro it's a Game Lords approved motherfucker. Stamp. I was ready. I was not going to stamp it. Wow. I remember... Honey, I blew up the park. Ooh. Ah. Oh. Well, until next time, Monsieur de Croissant. Oui, oui, de Monsieur la Frappée Jomelette. That's right. Oh, wait. The king. I think he's looking at no. us. Look. <gasps> Mon ami! What do you think he's saying? This is going to be a big break. Bloody told you we shouldn't have been dancing together, mate. Ah!